jamais été vendu. <laughs> Not many people here, so I kept that down a bit. <laughs> it's early. I didn't really want to ruin everybody's day by wakening them up. So, welcome to today's vlog. Whew, I'm a little bit out of puff coming up them steps. I um, I ran up. I should not have done. I should have come up walking nice and slow. Body's not really ready to start working just yet. But I am at the big white Buddha. Just outside of Pai, well, from the city, right outside where I live. And as I got up this morning, it's now, like I say, it's 10 o'clock, but I got here about nine, just waiting for that early morning cloud to rise, and which it did, and I got here this morning with the drone, and I managed to get the drone footage that I thought that I would get, so I'm really happy about that. But not only is it a wicked, wicked Buddha to step up, it's got a really, really great view. Those beautiful mountains. Oh, man. So what is today's vlog? It's me, I'm gonna go to a few tourist spots, a few attractions, just not too far out of Pi. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stay here one more day. Um, I had a really poor sleep last night. I don't know, I just kept waking up, I don't know why. Uh, so I will have one more day here before I do the rest of the Mei Hong Son loop. And I'm doing it in reverse. <laughs> I've already started it, haven't I? Chang Mai to Pai. It's meant to be the last leg, but it's the first bit I've done, so I'll be doing the next section tomorrow. So today, where the cloud looks really clear, it's going to be hot, I'm going to be making the most of the day. Okay, and that is big weather. And it's free, free entry. Okay, tourist spot or attraction number two, which is very close, I believe, to Pi, is the hot springs. <laughs> but we're not going there, no, because it's 300 baht, entry free, entry fee. No, 300 baht is far from free. So if you want to go there, yeah, you can. But I will not. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good day. Good day. So I will not. Ah, I do have one thing to bring up right at the start of this vlog before we have our first advert. Yes. Yes. Why are there adverts every five minutes, Sean? Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you exactly why that so I can generate. Why do I vlog every day? Why do I put adverts on every five minutes is to generate the revenue that I need to have this life, this lifestyle, so I can bring vlogs to you every day. Now, you guys watching, two thirds of you, can put an end to the amount of ads on my vlogs overnight. Yeah, you can, you can. My analytics tell me only 35 to 37% of my viewers are subscribers. One third, roughly. 10,000, so that leaves 20,000 of you watching the show who haven't supported it by subscribing and hitting the notifications. Now, <laughs> if my subscriptions go to 20,000, right, and the views to 20,000 each day, I will half the amount of ads on every one of my vlogs. I'll take half of them off, so there's an ad every 10 minutes. I'll go even further. If all of you are watching, hit the subscribe button. That's two thirds. It should give me, uh, 
more views, 30,000 views. So I will take two thirds of the ads off. So you only get an advert every 12 to 15 minutes. How about that? That is the deal I will do. The reason I put the adverts on there is to generate the income that I need to have this life. And this life is what I need more than anything. Cause it's awesome. I get to express myself. I get to address any situations. I can, I can talk, I can say whatever I like. And I like what I say. And so do you guys. You know, we do have a very unique YouTube channel and it is going to be traveling far and wide and to extreme destinations. Not too far from doing those kind of vlogs, guys. So I never ever ask anybody to subscribe. No, this is an adult channel and you're adults. So you don't need to be told what to do. And I'm certainly not going to beg. I never ask you guys to like and I never ask you to comment. I'll leave it all up to you because you're adults who make their own decisions. But with that in mind, if you want the adverts to drop, the choice is there and the choice is yours. So make the right choice. Ping, ping, ping. I haven't got my subscribe t-shirt with me, so that's the notifications button, the subscribe. It's up to you guys what you do. You know, as it is, au moi. Right then. Oh, man, I love the start of the day, putting a few fucks up. It's awesome, it's awesome. Level playing field for today. So now I can move on, addressing the situations through the comments through the night before. Cleared my head, I've cleared the air, and now you're all in a better position to understand <laughs> how you guys can improve the channel. Okay, right. It's got to be breakfast time. Good morning. Das is good, yeah. The Germans. Today is the game of the Germans. So I'm wearing the lucky shirt with the lucky Buddha. Lucky Buddha, look, another one. It's not the same one. It's a little bit smaller. How cool does it look? Against that beautiful backdrop of the sky. It's awesome. And here, man, I'm gonna have to go back down and get the camera. And we are right opposite. There's a helicopter in the sky as somebody got lost in the jungle last night. No, it was not me. I got lost in my apartment. I can tell you that. I got proper lost last night in my apartment. Oh, the Nagas. I think that is what these are, the Nagas. And I don't know, I'll have to go around. Yes. The helicopter's a bit high if he's actually looking for someone. Look, right up there. It's good to know he's about because I am going to be flying the drone about today. As we do have wicked, wicked, whatever. Man, and I've just pulled the horse up there. Oh man, and I don't know if you can see <laughs> right in the background, a little Buddha in the mountains. Right up there, that's where I've now come from. And I'm now off to Zibambu Bridge. The old bamboo there's another buddha made of stone and wood there on that wooden platform uh, which looked peculiar but it is beautiful the mountains and the crisp clear air oh man it is so good so i have um when i go out i'll do a little bit of filming when i go out so you'll know where i've just now pulled into it's a little bit sort of uh, a bit funky out the front there and we're about five kilometers from Pai, heading back to Chiang Mai. It's me doing my German walk, isn't it? It's good, uh, my German walk is good for making sure snakes aren't around. Zack, zin, As we go. <laughs> and that, the Meishi type, chit chalon prakadada, whatever that says 
in Chinese on that white thingy there. That's what I saw from the road. And I thought, you know what? It looks bizarre. It looks, <laughs> looks a bit shit really. It does, but you know what I mean? Uh, it's all right when you go across the bridge to look at the white Buddha, the white, um, the white statues, they were pretty cool. Okay, so we're gonna have a quick look at this. Come here, German, walk on. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're gonna be having a fun day today. Yes, we are. Oh, that's that, oh, that's that. Um, Gaish, I forget the, I forget the elephant's name. Oh man, and the three-headed elephant. So it's obviously a bit Hindu. They're everywhere. They get everywhere, the Hindus. They do. It's a cool looking spot. It really is. Oh man. Wicked. Wicked. Wow, look at this. That statue, that is beautiful sandstone. That's been carved. Ah oh, mate, really nice. If you get the I'll spit on it, should I? Get all these, all the colours will come through. If they should have put a bit of varnish on there, a bit of makeup, maybe. <laughs> Stop. Oh man, some beads. Oh man. Oh, okay, that is to dress. I don't know who that is. Is that Shiva? Shiva? Uh, but she's got her jewellery and stuff there, so you can come and do a bit of dress up. I don't know if I still have selfies with. With the goddess? <laughs> no, do I? How am I gonna know? Oh, oh, fucking hell. Fucking trip hazards. <laughs> Gotta watch that in Thailand for the trip hazards. So, yeah, that is good. Oh, I just get, oh, man, I would get a couple of pictures of it, but I oh, make the face painting is a bit weird. It's alright against that backdrop look you know getting the contrast of a with a good photograph but unfortunately the subject ain't that good in my opinion right let's go and find that bridge then so i am off to pam buck bam boo bridge two kilometers up there but before you go up there there's a little waterfall just there and guess what called the pan bulk waterfall so yeah that's his wood yeah okay let's go now there's a guy sitting in that hut that's what he kept <laughs> hello buy a ticket yeah, yeah. I, I just gotta get a video and i'm gone mate i'll be here five ten seconds yeah. uh, just ten seconds then i'm not staying <laughs> They're all the same, they want you to buy, I don't buy tickets for them unfortunately. I do free promotions for them. And there is a little waterfall. You've probably got Pambok waterfall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can walk up there and have a little waterfall. Or not. But it ain't hot enough for me to go in, uh, in for a dip just yet. And, uh, cheers buddy, cup and cap. So I am off to the bridge and welcome to Just Jazz Good day again Good morning Das is Hagen <laughs> Shh now Go get away from that music as soon as I can but I have parked the horse there instead of over there Oh man, what a lovely place to be! Man, what's most annoying? Me shouting or the jazz? <laughs> Today, we'll be in the jazz mood. <laughs> That's not on, is it? That's totally destroyed the bamboo bridge. You alright, darling? <laughs> that look, that look sums up Thai, well it does, some type of people, that blatant look of nothingness. It's just like the, the jazz moods of this moment. 
So we're going on this purposely built bamboo, fancy bamboo, the old bamboo. <laughs> the bridge of bamboo, which is <laughs> really cool. Beautiful, beautiful land. Just looking at me horse where I've parked it. I parked where the tyres have parked. And of course, I don't think they're gonna like that. There's harm one hovering over me moped. Ah, Pam Buck, welcome. <laughs> ah, man. So yeah, this is it. So I'll just take you into this little area that's obviously been designed yeah, come on, fucking hell. I mean, what is, who the fuck's got to sit on a bale of straw? This, this, this sums pie up, people, right? This sums pie up. Wherever I've been in town or whatever, there, I see there's a bit of an attitude. I've been in three bars yesterday waiting to get a drink and I was in one, perhaps 10 minutes, just standing there waiting to get served. Some guy sort of acknowledged me and then just got on back with stocking his weed little shop up in the side of the bar and I'm like, how the fuck do you get a drink in here? Um, well, this, this is what this actually is. Obviously, it's someone had to go to business and thought, well, fuck it, that'll do. They can sit on there, try to give it some sort. It's like Norfolk. This is like being at the Norfolk showground. It is, and it's like, the fuck? Who wants to sit? Do you know what I mean? It's no, they want your money, right? But they're not really catering for you. That's how I see this. I mean, this, this, this bridge I'm now going to walk across, it's new, newly built right it wasn't built for tourists to come here and have a laugh no it wasn't believe it or not it wasn't for the likes of me to come and take the piss it was built so the monks from the monastery i guess that might be up there don't know it was built so the monks could go begging or money collecting to the nearest village every day <laughs> that's why it was built um not not as a tourist attraction but since it has become a tourist attraction I might as well bring you to it there is no no doubting that the countryside in northern Thailand is awesome there is no doubt in that it's wicked Excuse me. Oh, so there's a podium where you can come and have your selfie. So anyway guys, I just brought you here to show you what you can. A little stock pond full of tilapia. You can come and walk. The Bansi Bridge. Fucking huge mushroom. I think that's a mushroom. You can walk the Bansi Bridge uh, made of bamboo. And I'm not sure if it was built in some attempt also to be Thailand's longest wooden bridge. It may have been, I don't know. But there it is. And if you're feeling it, which I'm clearly not, <laughs> it's all right, these places. Yeah, I'm just going to fly the drone about but um like i say pie is the next barley you can have all your latest instagrammers sitting on there with that as the background and it will i kid you not watch this well not this space <laughs> keep an eye on youtube and you will see that that is what it will become right now will i so these guys are just cutting the straw, the hay. <laughs> oh man, it's all right. It is. It is. It's all right. And look, don't forget, when you do come here, it's most welcome to donate food, money, and buy some food for the monks. Begging. 
That's what that is. Why don't the monks go and get a job? <laughs> or craft something. No, they've just built this bridge. <laughs> Not nothing better to do. So I can go begging. <laughs> I don't, I don't, why, why haven't they got solar panels on there, right? Why haven't they got water butts? Why aren't they becoming self-sufficient monks where they could grow? I mean, they're growing these lovely flowers. Why don't they get some spuds in there or some carrots, right? They've got the rice and grow their own food so they don't have to beg foreign visitors to fund their lives. what it is you know you'd feel much better for yourself as a monk wouldn't you generating your own electric I mean as a monk is, is the type of person if you if you're gonna take in the oath and whatever and not gonna speak you're gonna fall nine yards and then you go and beg someone for some money it's it's ironic beyond belief from from, from what I, I, like I say it's this it's weird and everybody will just give them money anyway because they don't want them losing face, do they? Or feel embarrassed by it. So, no. No, it's not my kind of place. It's not for me. Das is good. Deutschland, Deutschland. Oberali. Oberali, sir. I can't sing that, can I? Fucking hell. I'll get in trouble. I don't know if the Germans sing that anymore. They'll get in trouble. <laughs> it's all good fun. And as we come back to that lovely jazz moods of the day. Well, I'm getting out of here as soon as possible. Yeah, start it. If he who seeks will always find. Walk about Wayne. How we doing, people? Look who I've bumped into in Pi. What are the chances of that, man? Well, it's pretty good because I have been looking for him. I've been yeah, tracking, yeah. I've been everywhere tracking him down. I was just going past <laughs> in the middle of nowhere, and there he was coming down from the bamboo bridge. Well, he is now going up, and <laughs> yeah. if you don't know who Walkabout Wayne is, he is the. I've got go to channels, right? Well, I've got Bangkok Pat in Bangkok. If I want to know. Good channel, good channel. Good, you like watch Bangkok Pat? Yeah, I like Pat. Bangkok Pat, yep. If you want to know anything about Bangkok, go to Pat and the same for <laughs> Walkabout Wayne in ah, Chiang Mai. I don't know about that but yeah nice one. You should you should if you and if you're a YouTuber and you want to plan then go and have a look at Wayne's channel. <laughs> I've got a bone to pick with you. Oh, I yeah. went to that waterfall. Done? <laughs> that waterfall weren't free. Which one? I went to a free waterfall that's now 100 baht. On my list? Yes on your free things to do. Up, um, up the mountain, yes. Goes to tap halfway up Poi Cow yes. Waterfall. Are they charging now? It's now 100 baht, yes. Oh man, so that's my vlog ruined. <laughs> <laughs> so that was it. Oh, yeah, it's man. been cool to meet Sean, man. I've always wanted to meet him if I come across him, so that was now really we cool. have. That was the best part of the day. So, guys, I, I and I forgot I took my shirt off, but I will be putting my shirt on because that's I've no. It's all good. He's in pie. He's in pie. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're, we're nothing. Um, which I should make a vlog about. If I get time to go out of an evening, I will make a vlog about all the girls wearing nothing. You, you guys might be interested. So, take it easy. Nice to be on vlogging a dead horse. Awesome. Great channel, man. Great awesome. channel. Walk about Wayne. Cheers, buddy. Ah, nice one, mate. It's hot. As you head to Chiang Mai from Pai towards the Pai Canyon, you will be crossing this bridge. And if you look to its left, where this little shops, little market spot is, you will see that there is a World War II Memorial Bridge right here. Whoa, 10 baht. Ah, oh, man, just lost 10 baht, fell out of my pocket. So anyway, as I walk over this World War II bridge, which looks exactly like the bridge over the River Kwai, walk about Wayne, <laughs> we'll now be walking over a bamboo bridge, I should think. 
I made my day. It was really cool. <laughs> As I was coming down, he was going up. That was really good, man. That made my day. I was like, I was really open to meet Wayne. And I met him. That was awesome. He's, he's hoping to meet me. And we met. It was awesome. So I'll probably be seeing him for beverage this evening. Excuse the spitting. So this is a World War II bridge and built. Wow. Was it built by the Japanese? Was it built by the English, the Americans, the Australians, the Dutch and the Canadians? Or was it built by the Thais, the Cambodians, the Javaians, Indonesians, Indonesians at the time? But this is this bridge and I can only assume that it is where, where this bridge is, where it lies, it's heading towards the Burmese border. So I have to assume this is part of the Death Railway. The railway that was built between Bangkok, Thailand and Burma, Miramar. Forgot the name of the place. Wow, and it's a proper, back in hell, proper rustic gold bridge. Nice river. It is a wicked river. It is with these mountains, uh, the whole area of Pai really does remind me of v Vang Vien in Laos when I was there many moons ago. Ah, that river running down, that's really cool. Where's the sun? The sun's up there. So just a little extra stop. Stopping here before I now go off to the Great Pie Canyon. And uh, I'm all right with bridges. I don't know how I'm gonna go on with the heights at the canyon. That is why I'm going there. Oh man, and hopefully I'll catch a nice bit of sun. Excuse me while I'm on the way. I still haven't had breakfast yet. However, I have eaten six bananas this morning. I am the banana man. I am. I can eat bananas. Right. There's my little walk over the World War II bridge. Just outside of Pi. Whoa. Whoa. It's hot here. Ten minutes ago I was freezing. Whoa. And I'm lucky, very lucky, that I've made it here. <laughs> this is, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna scare the shit out of me. This is the Pi Canyon. <laughs> it is. Oh man. And it is really cool. Thing is, I don't know if you can right up to them sections, these narrow. Oh man, and have a look, see how close to the edge, fuck off, no way, oh, <laughs> I don't know how much of the Pike Canyon you're going to see, I might have to go and get the drone and show you that way, I will have a go, but you know, I don't like heights, right, so anyway, when you come from Pai, going to Chiang Mai, there's no signposts for the Pike Canyon, there is, as you come out, you will see it about 10 miles out on your right hand side. There's a zip line and sign and some bars and restaurants, which I just drove straight past. And I ended up at the World War II bridge, which is about another three to five kilometers heading towards Chiang Mai. So I kept going, I kept going and I kept going. I did about another 20 clicks. I came to a national park and I thought, oh, maybe the, the canyon's in the national park. So I asked a guy at the national park and he goes, no, no, that's that way, the way I'd come. So I put the GPS on. Yeah, 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 I was 30 minutes away. So I, to, uh, so I now came all the way back on the GPS. So I'm actually quite surprised because, and then when you come from Chiang Mai to Pai, the canyon is signposted. So I saw those as I did when I came here on arrival, but oh man. And this, this is free. 
Oh, mate, I know I've now. I've got to do this narrow bit here, look. Fuck. And it is, I don't know if it's... It is, it's kind of staggered drops. Fuck it out. Oh, man, it's not too bad. I will... Oh, fuck, you know, I will be able to do this. Fuck, you know, can you see? Can you see how narrow? I actually, I better put it... The camera, look at my feet walk. Fucking hell, man. That's all right, it's almost a meter across. It's at least a foot, 18 inches. Oh, fucking hell. Cheers, buddy. Yes. Not my point. <laughs> Not my favorite thing, height. Wow. What a weird place. It is weird, I'm like, fucking. I've got to walk back. I'm, I'm walking really gingerly. I don't think I'll be going to where those people have. There. Ah, man. Can you see the red rock where you can walk? Incredible looking place. It really is. So you've got to kind of climb and go down there. Ah, wow, I say that. I have come to the end. Oh, you know. <laughs> I'm not going any further than that. Ah, oh, man, so you have got to go down there to get up. Oh, man. Wow. It's got to be a wicked place to see. Mm. If you're not me. Oh, maybe he stood here. Oh, man. And it is hot. It was, if you use that main road, you do need a jumper or a cardi. You will need something. So I just walked across there, look. Oh, man. Don't I, man? I can see it's all right, but my stomach is still not happy. It's not happy. You can see they are massive, massive drops. And like I say, it's a bit of gravel on the top here, so it can easily be very slippery. Oh man. How can you can walk all here? <laughs> Fucking hell, I feel, feel really squiffy just being here. No, I well, was. So I've come here to do this for you so you can see the fair, but I'm just feeling ill. See, these guys are coming up really easy. Look, that's an easy climb. Well, that doesn't look too bad. <laughs> Oh. That is good, yeah. Yeah, yeah this is good. Fantastic. Well, fantastic, awesome. You're from Deutschland? Nein. No, Nein. Ah, from Holland. Holland. Oh, oh, really bad almost, then. Almost Deutschland. Okay. Holland. Yes, but it's, it's Poland. no. Poland. 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 Oh, Poland. Yes. Oh, okay. you're from where? Me, I, I'm, I'm the Englishman. Oh my God. I am. <laughs> well, look, you like my shirt. Okay. So, <laughs> this trail is middle, middle easy. What? <laughs> so, uh, that, that middle easy? Middle easy. Okay. Polish guys. Not for your shoes. Very middle. They're very but good. Not for your shoes. But not for your shoes. I know. Uh, I was told to bring proper shoes, but um, yeah. I'm not going. I'm, I'm not going with this. Mate, I'm not. I'm going there. I'm totally. It will be better to you. No, I'm not. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? Yeah. I'm going to go back to my motorbike and I'm going to get my drone. Okay. That's it. That's Have it. a good time. Yeah, See cheers, you. guys. All the best. Cheers. Bye -bye. Awesome. Awesome. Picture, my friend. Yes. Picture. Take a picture. Yes. Have you guys standing there? I've, I've, it's on film. I'm filming. <laughs> oh, you seem very comfortable. Yeah. Uh, there. Video, photo, photo. Oh, I haven't got photo. Ah, because I'd have to send it to you and ah, oh, that'd be a nightmare. It's okay, we just wanted to be in your video. Thank you very much. No, thank you. We wanted to be remembered. <laughs> oh man. You're a YouTuber? Yes. Yes, YouTuber? 
Yes. Man, yes. Wow. Yes. Yeah. I reckon I'll be all right doing that with flip flops on. <laughs> I will. You will. You will. Yeah, I will. I need to put the camera away. Even though it's really hot, but I've got to do this. <laughs> it's good. Ah, oh, you can get a picture. Give me. All oh, right, she, he's took me stick. Can you see? <laughs> he's took over. Hey, hello, my friend. <laughs> Where are you from, buddy? I'm from my Argentina. Oh, Argentina! Yes. Oh man, you guys got beat by a piss poor <laughs> football team. Yes. Apparently. Yes. What happened there? Yes. That happened, right? Ah man, I've not watched any football yet, but I will when it gets interesting. We will win. I think you'll do well, man. You have some good players. Guys, all the best. All the best. Cheers. Ah, Argentina. Right. Don't cry for me. <laughs> Fucking hell. Well, right, mate, I better do me out up. Right, I've got my safety shoes on. Fucking hell. Thing is, guys, this, when I do a few things, and I do slip and I do slide. Ah, there's a guy coming up. I better wait. <laughs> and I am, I'm going to do some of this. What? Shoes for this. No, good. I, I, I've got my safety shoes on, darling. I've got my. <laughs> I have my safety shoes and my safety hat. You're lucky underwear. Oh, you got the hat, though. I've got the hat, mate. This hope the hat does the trick. I've left my fuck my Buddha necklace. I've left it in the bike. Oh, I need Buddha for luck. Wow. <laughs> oh, can I? We're going, guys. Do you want to see? Me, <laughs> it is slippery. Fucking hell! So one lesson: don't do this in the wet. Oh, fucking hell! <laughs> I feel like Luke Skywalker. <laughs> fucking! Oh, it's not. Man. Not recommended with flip flops. It's not. But you know what? Oh. Yeah, we're through. Wee. Oh man, okay. That's good. Whoa, steady, buddy, steady. I'm not the only one slipping and sliding. Do <laughs> so you recommend this bit? It's good? Yes. Okay. I'm going that way. You, yes, okay. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> oh, mm. It's not much of a fall actually, it's alright, I can handle that fall. Um, as long as it's not a great big empty <laughs> cavern there. Oh. Pit. So hang on, look, that's me, I can handle it guys. <laughs> okay, I can handle it. Oh, it's good, it's good that I can handle this because seriously, when I talk about other adventures, better things to come, it's gonna be stuff like this. Whoa, and I do mean, fucking hell. I do mean stuff like this. Oh. I'm on my knees. I am. I've stood up, but I'm crouched. <sighs> wow. This this is something I would recommend doing, just because of the views. Could, oh, mate, it is just wicked. Walking out on these great big platforms. Plateaus. Oh, man. So good. So good, and people have made it down there. Whether or not this is a complete trail, or you kind of get so far, so far, so far, and then come back. Oh, I don't know. One thing I do know is I don't like it. I don't. 
<laughs> Don't. Oh, fuck. No, I'm not even close to the edge of any of this. But I just don't like it. It's a bit too high for me. It is. And you can walk down there. You can, that is a part of a trash. I, I reckon you can walk all the way round and down. Fucking hell. Mm. <laughs> yeah, come! <laughs> Ooh, I thought it was just fucking... Oh, mate. Right, I'm going home. I had a fucking fire, <laughs> but I'm going home. I've got my camera around my neck, but I'm not taking any pictures. That just done me there. Oh, can, I, can you imagine just, just slipping and sliding off the edge? Oh, no. I've got more vlogs to make. Fucking hell. Okay. Okay. Let's go back. Fuck hell. He says, she cries. She crawls on all fours. Oh, I am. I'm up. I am up. Awesome. We're up again. So this is the Grand Canyon of Pi. Oh, and it is free. So I'd recommend coming here and freaking yourself out. Good day. Good day. Oh. But it is something, like I say, when you you got the red, that could easily be Mars <laughs> over there. I might walk along on a bit of Mars. I don't know. And then here, this canyon reminded me of fucking Star Wars. Luke Skywalker through the canyon. That'd be me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Again. Look, look at the shadow. You see, I've got to feel my shadow. The shadow. The shadow knows. Look, I'm like fucking Kev. What's his name? Kevin Thingy. Oh, you know. Paul, Pauline. Oh, fucking. Was it not Pauline Clough? What was her name? Kevin Trev. Oh, what were they? Loads of money. Harry Enfield. What was it? <laughs> the fucking two ravers? Oh man, Kevin Perry! Is that right? <laughs> fucking hell, man. Now you can walk there. <laughs> or, oh man, you can slide down here. Wow. Wow. So that is today's finale. <laughs> and I am, I tell you what, it's up to about, I've had a really late day today, guys, I have. I didn't come out vlogging uh, now till I think half nine this morning. And now it's probably about half two, too thirsty, I guess. And then when I get up there, will I, will I get? I made it. I got back up. Just as I was coming up, the battery overheated. But that issue, well, uh, we'll see. I'm now going to see if I can do this little bit as confidently as I did coming. Wow, it's all right. It is. Just put one foot in front of the other. Ah. Uh, wow. Come on, cap. Thank you, thank you very much, couple. Wow. Oh, I am so, I am really sweating. But it's really weird because, like I said, 20 minutes ago, I was really cold. So I'm going on this bit of red through here. And that's still really gravelly. <laughs> and I'm coming with it, I'm not fighting it. But this don't look so bad. You can see it's a proper canyon. Oh man. 
a little canyon bit in the middle red rocks hey man red rocks now i'm sure red rocks i am sure i'm positive red rocks in the usa don't know what state it's in <laughs> but red rocks they have lots of concerts there a place called red rocks it's got to be in a desert somewhere in the usa i would say arizona but i'm just plugging fucking hell a word out of the hat Oh, red rocks they have concerts there because i think the red rocks give it amazing acoustics with sounds <laughs> just another little bit of boring trivia for you yes the dead south that's it the band the dead south i like the dead south and the dead south did play a gig there that is how i know of red rocks but where it is in the usa i do not know i do not no whoa by here oh man you see that there that's where i stood where them two people are right there and up there hang on yeah i did i walked that's about as far as i walked didn't want to walk around in a huge loop wow what a cool place very unique place in thailand and just another tick uh, tip the box of pie for, for the country not for the city if that makes sense pie has lots and lots to offer outside of the town the town for me hasn't got anything of any interest or anything to offer or anything excuse me good to talk about I haven't had a brilliant meal yet. Um, I really haven't. The cheapest bear I've had, funny enough, was yesterday when I was up at the Two Hut viewing point. That's worth um, that's worth a visit for sunset, I believe. I haven't made it for the sunset there. Oh man! But this, like these are tracks. They go all over. It's a really cool spot. Oh, it really is. And you can, you can walk down here. I'll tell you what, you know, if I had um, proper boots, so I wouldn't, I've got merrells, but you know what, I've, I've worn the merrells in some real proper climbs and they slide, they slip on this, they're not, they're all right for walking, but not for climbing. You, you, you need proper climbing boots or, or the grippiest things I've had, which are those water, um, the shoes that I wear when I'm on in the water or whatever, they give you a good grip and they're, they're used to getting wet. Ah oh, man. Ah oh, cool. <laughs> Ladies enjoy. Yeah, you too. See you. Two lovely young German ladies who I was showing my shirt off uh, when I was at the top there before I turned the battery back on. Ah, oh, that was really cool. Really cool. Right. Guys, oh, just as we walk back it's just free this spot it's really hot the views are amazing they really are and you meet some nice very nice interesting people i have that's been really good so let's go for that overly deserved happy ending okay so you're coming from pi go in to Chiang Mai this place on your right is the entrance to the Pai Canyon and you know what there is a sign yes there is <laughs> I missed it I was taking it easy but there that is the sign on the right hand side that one but if you're coming from Chiang Mai you will see two or three signs with great big pictures of the canyon on them um, I missed that sign, I only just saw it just now. I thought, oh no, I'll come out here and I'll show you where the entrance is, where there are no signs. <laughs> uh, there is a sign, I, I, I just drift past it. Because I was too busy trying to suss out what this place was. <sighs> but, now, I know, so you know. Which is really good, and it's only 10 kilometers out of town. 
and you have got that little wall bridge just there as well so it's worth it is definitely worth a visit right i can get a bear here but oh, i won't get back to town before i have a bear i'll have a bear i want to do some i'll get back to safety before i have a bear before i have my happy happy ending a happy ending i promised and a happy ending we have i am in oh this place which i think is called i love pie I do love pie that's what it's called I it is it's called I love pie and you can come up here in this hanging basket area yeah go, you can have a good game you know, good battles can you imagine all having some I don't know you could have good battles in here uh, in these uh, seating area <laughs> but as you look out oh man this viewing area oh it's pretty good and you can see right over there where i started to today's vlog and it's been a good day it's been a really good day oh you can't smoke up here so that's disappointing but cheers so good <laughs> that really was enjoyable that's really good so i hope you enjoyed today's vlog my highlight of the day was meeting wayne and i think we're gonna have a beer later which will be really good that's really good really really good so uh, i've had a really good day and i'm gonna be leaving tomorrow ah, so we've got some meat so until then cheers Yes, Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> and until next time. Au revoir.